Hi everyone, today I'm at Marina Bay. That behind me is Marina Bay Sands, the hotel and casino. Um, this is actually the financial district of Singapore. Let me show you the buildings. So those are the office buildings. On the left side is Marina Bay Financial Center. These are the offices at Raffles Place. So this is the scene that I'm going to draw. The NTUC building on the left side. And this black building which I do not know how to pronounce. The one on the right side. And there's this little custom house at the bottom. This is the sketchbook that I have. The Strathmore 500 series mixed media paper. So let me just flip to the pitch. I'll be drawing on this pitch. This is the fountain pen that I'm using today. The Pelican M200. These are the Viviva color sheets that I'm using today instead of watercolor to color my sketch. The creator sent me a few samples to try out. This is actually the second version. I think I'm going to make another video to compare this second version to the first prototype version so that you can get a clearer view of this. Now the colors are very intense. Some people actually um, commented in the comment section saying that this is quite similar to peerless watercolor. If I am not wrong, peerless color comes in loose sheets and this is in a nice compact booklet form. But other than that, the way you use them is quite similar. You just use a water brush or can you have a normal brush like what I'm using right now and just wet the colors on the paper and then apply it onto your artwork. The colors are very intense and they are so intense that it's difficult to see what colors they are when they are on the pages actually. Until you lay it down onto your artwork that is when you will see the true color. So this is quite interesting. I've never seen something like this before actually. Now if I were to compare this to watercolor, uh, first thing that comes to my mind is this feels very much like those watercolor inks instead of watercolor. There is no granulation and uh, paint it flows um, very smoothly. It's like applying tea, you know, tea versus coffee. This feels very much like tea, very light, very transparent. The downside of this product is there is no mixing area. So if you want to mix a muted color, it will be quite difficult to do so. So you have to do some planning before you color because all the colors are so intense. Of course the main advantage is this is really portable.
So right at the bottom of the booklet at the edge there you can see some color stripes so that's how you identify which colors are on the pages. I'm going to use this for a few more days before I come up with a detailed review. So that's it for my sketch. So this is how my sketch looks like. The Vivivia color sheets, it is really very small when compared to the almost A4 sketchbook that I have. And the colors are very intense. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the ink inside the bottle that I have it's very transparent, you can almost see through it. There is actually a piece of plastic that separates the colors on the pages. So the plastic prevents the colors, the wet colors from touching each other. This is going to take a while to dry so I have to put it like this. Make sure that the pages get some air. Because if you were to have all the pages stick together, they are not going to dry properly. So that's all for the quick sketch. I have to run off to the meeting now. See you guys in the next video. Bye!